this video, we're going to show you how to split a 7140. This rear main engine seal is leaking, and it was a common uh, occurrence with these tractors. Sometimes the, the whole ring part in the sleeve likes to spin. Um, and it's uh, a little more complicated than the average tractor, but still uh, easily doable. Uh, the number one thing you want to do with any tractor is to take blocks and keep the tractor from tilting once you break it apart. Simple 2x4 on either side. It's the first thing you put in, it's the last thing you take out. Um, on air conditioned tractors, most of them are pretty decent thinking about the mechanic that you uh, they run the hoses over the top um, you can just disconnect your condenser at the front um, take your AC compressor off of the engine and then pull it right and either tie it up on the roof or put it inside the cab this tractor we're gonna split it uh, right here at the back um, and then we might have to pull this center section out afterwards depending on where the leak is but we'll figure that out when we get there pretty much a straight line down is where we're going to split it um, now we want to pull the floor out of the cab and there is a couple of annoying bolts that you can only get at through the floor on the very top of the bell housing so once we get a little farther apart we'll, uh, we'll make another video because it's a big tractor, I did. Um, I don't want to use just floor jack, so I welded this up. Just a bottle jack with two pipes, keeps everything steady, and uh, no chance of the tractor falling off the jack. So we'll put a wooden block on there. Steel on steel is never a good idea. We'll put a wooden block on there, and uh, maybe just put a couple screws in there to hold her down. So we're just about ready to roll the 7140 apart. Um, one thing is pay attention to is this center housing here. Um, the four wheel drive bolts, there's two bolts behind here that will still hold it together. I'll put my finger on one of them right now, the other one's on the other side. And you're going to want to drain this center housing. Uh, there's probably about 60 liters of oil in there. And we'll pull that oil out, otherwise as soon as you split it, all that is going to rush over the floor. Um, every tractor is different, but uh, there's also those two nasty bolts up top here that will give you grief if you don't know about it. I got my finger on one of them now. Um, you can get at them through the cab, and I mentioned that before. So, um, pulled all of our wiring back. Uh, some tractors will have a nice neat plug right where you uh, split the tractor where you can just unplug it. Um, the case doesn't. You gotta pull all your wires, your horn, your alternator, all your sensors on the other side, pull it back and it stays with the tractor. The advantage to that is you never get the corrosion in the plug that will give you headaches afterwards. There's nightmares where just the plug bouncing and a little bit of dirt in between and sometimes it'll start, sometimes it wouldn't. I know the older 3000 ma style Masseys had that issue and every tractor had a different problem so it was hard to diagnose and later on they figured out it was just a the connector. They replaced the connector and that was it. But uh, we'll uh, start rolling it apart. I think I need my videographer to help me roll the tractor. Once you get it apart, before you go any farther, you want to look at your splines. Um, you know, we can see this input shaft here looks very good. Um, so does this output shaft. Looks pretty clean. But once we look at the coupler, one side, um, rust is a good indicator that um, there's uh, steel coming loose. But if you see this edge where my pinky is, is nice and clean. Whereas this edge is a little bit peened over. So what's happening now is there's room for those splines to go back and forth and this coupler is actually going like this on the splines and will wear your splines out. Replacing this coupler, um, case will probably 100 bucks. Um, replacing these input shafts, you're looking into thousands of dollars. Well this one anyway because you have to dig into the transmission. So while it's apart for the cost of the coupler, it's time to replace the coupler. So We'll pull this flywheel off. 
and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, um, seal at the back and this is why we're changing it because we got engine oil at the bottom it, it uh, um, could be a lot worse you could have uh, there's a drain plug right here uh, when you see your engine oil running out of there you got a big issue um, the uh, time to do it is now although it's off season he doesn't need the tractor uh, we don't want to have this thing down when it is uh, busy time so we're going to do that rear seal and if we have to once we get this housing off we might get the housing off um, but then we have to get in the oil pan gasket too so we'll decide that later so follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.